With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. If we talk about this question, in this question we are asked that how are pteridophytes different from the phenerogams. So if we discuss the difference between pteridophytes, right, pteridophytes and phenerogams, right so first of all we have pteridophytes so basically pteridophytes are less differentiated right they have less differentiated reproductive organs right they have less differentiated reproductive organs whereas in case of phenerogams the reproductive organs right reproductive organs are well developed right reproductive organs are well developed now the next difference that we can say here between pteridophytes and phenerogams is that pteridophytes produces right they produces naked embryos right they produces naked embryos which are called spores right which are called spores but in case of phenerogams, phenerogams are the basically are the plants that uh, produces seeds, right? That produces seeds. So if we talk about the examples of both of them, so pteridophytes, so the examples of pteridophytes are ferns, right? Uh, equisetum, right? Equisetum. On the other hand, the examples of phenerogams are cycus, pinus, etc. Right, so these are some of the examples. So the ferns and the equisetum, they produce spores, whereas phenerogams produce seeds. Right, and phenerogams are more advanced or more developed. Right, they are more advanced comparative to the pteridophytes pteridophytes are less advanced right they are less advanced comparative to phenerogams right for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today